Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your encouragement and support regarding these messages which go out each day. <clears throat> the team of Sheila, Jeanette, Hugo and myself are most grateful. We too are grateful for the way in which God has and is leading us in this exciting adventure and we thank him all along the way. But I also want to acknowledge so many of you for your suggestions and for your advice, and perhaps particularly that so many of you are sending these messages on to other folk, not only locally and countrywide, but around the world. Some of you have lists that go into the 20s and even 60s. Well done. I also must say that I get a lot of advice from my children and wider family they also send me information, quotes, prayers and stories that I can and have used. My main source of information, examples and constructive criticism come from Jeanette. Not only is she my typist and videographer, but the positive, helpful criticism I receive from her is absolutely invaluable. A real husband-wife team where she militantly prefers to work behind the scenes, but without whom nothing would go out from me. Sheila and Hugo are also essential cogs in the wheel that enables these messages to be distributed far and wide. All this makes me more and more aware of the Christian church as a team all working together for the ongoing work and outreach of the Christian gospel. There are Christians of every imaginable branch who receive these messages, joining together in prayer, in worship and in teaching, also putting all these teachings into practice, as together, all of us, I don't know how many, supporting one another as the Church of Jesus Christ in action. As the Apostle Paul puts it, we are all one body, the body of Christ, each playing our part from the smallest, most essential to the larger, more obvious parts, all working together, all playing our part for Jesus' sake. I often wonder if Paul had been writing today whether he would have used the motor car as an illustration. If one of the tiniest screws or jets in the fuel system malfunctions, the car won't go. The fuel, the accelerator, the brakes, the steering, you name it, all have to fu function effectively as a whole. Thank you for being a part of this vehicle, the Church of Christ, operating in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, His Church, functioning from homes, hospitals, pharmacies, businesses, media, schools, parliament. I could go on and on for ages. Let us together continue to pray for those in decision-making positions that they will make the right choices. Pray for our people, for those who are affected by their wrong choices that people make, the abused, the victims of gender-based violence, and children, and farm murders, as well as those affected by the coronavirus through no fault of their own. I believe also that our Lord Jesus instructs us to even pray for those who make the wrong choices, who refuse to obey the protocols, who steal, who commit gender-based violence, who murder and abuse our children, who commit farm murders. All this should keep us very busy, united in prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we ask you to bring your power, your love, your healing, your salvation to all those who have made the wrong choices in life. May our united prayer 
bring your power to change their lives and to repentance and in repentance save them from the evil one. And now, Lord, we especially ask you to surround those who have been the victims of the wrong choices of their fellow human beings, often of their own family members. Hold them tight in your arms of love, in your peace, and grant them your grace, sufficient for their every need. This we ask through Jesus Christ, who suffered on the cross for us and for our salvation. Amen. Go now to be his warriors of prayer, love in action, healing, reconciliation and salvation. Go in the power of the love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>